The topic for this video is comparing alike fractions with the same numerator. In the previous video, we learnt about comparing like fractions and here we are going to discuss about unlike fractions with same numerator. So there is a very easy method to understand this topic. We just have to take a circular cutout for this. We will fold it like this so that we get two equal parts from this circle. Now we again fold it like this. This helps us to get four equal parts from the circle. And now when we open them and fold it like this, we get eight equal parts of the circle. So we will draw the lines and show these parts separately. Now what we want to represent here is we will be representing the different parts. So we are first of all representing the one by two part. That is when the circle is divided into two equal parts. So this represents 1 by 2. Fine. So we will represent this fraction by just drawing the line. So this represents 1 upon 2. Now if we look at this much part. One such part represents 1 by, one such part represents 1 upon 4 because there are 4 equal parts now, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, we take this also. Now, this part is 1 upon 4. But when this 1 by 4 part was further divided into 2 equal parts, then one such part which I will now represent one such part represents 1 upon 8. So this represents 1 upon 8. Now I will take a cut out of these parts and I will represent them. So we will look at the size of these parts. See the fractions that we are dealing with here are 1 by 2, 1 by 4 and 1 upon 8. So this is 1 upon 2. Then we have 1 by 4 and next we have 1 upon 8. So this represents 1 by 8. So now if you look at the arrangement, we have arranged them in the, according to their size and the size decreases. The size decreases. So this is 1 upon 8. We keep it straight like this. So now if we look at the fractions. That is 1 upon 2 which is the greatest one. Then we have 1 by 4 which is greater than even 1 by 8. So we get 1 by 8 is the smallest. 1 by 2 is the greatest. The numerator is same everywhere. So that means now if we look at the fractions only. Now if we want to focus on the fractions only. Then what can we say? We can compare the unlike fractions with same numerator by comparing their denominators. Now look at here. 1 upon 2 represents the highest fraction here. Among the three fractions, 1 by 2 represents the highest fra uh, fraction. Uh, but if you look at the denominator, the denominator 2 is the smallest one. The denominator 2 is the smallest one. As the denominator increases, the fraction decreases. So 1 by 4 is smaller than 1 by 2. And now when the fraction, uh, the denominator increases, it goes to 8. 1 by 8 is even smaller than 1 by 4. So the rule says that bigger the denominator, smaller the fraction. So with this category, with the category of unlike fractions with same numerator, the rule says bigger the denominator, bigger the denominator, smaller the fraction. That means the fraction with the biggest denominator will be the smallest one and the fraction with the smallest denominator will be the, bigger, will be the biggest one. So this is the topic that the way we can compare unlike fractions with the same numerator. Thank you.